is. We'll get in trouble if they find us. It's all right. <sighs> A minor hiccup. Lightning, continue on. <laughs> What's the big deal? You scared the wits out of us. But I was just eating a sandwich. To you, it's just huh? eating a sandwich. To the rest of the oh. world, it's a catastrophe. Thank you. Whenever you're mm -hmm. finished flirting... Hmm? We can start the meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's sit down. So, mm -hmm. so what kept you? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. A little intimidated? Mm -hmm. Actually, it was you that was too early. So you say. What's the matter? Can't you tell time? <laughs> now, <laughs> angels, we didn't come here to fight. Ref is correct. That'll be a first. Come on, Kabale. We talked about this. Actually, all you said was that we should have a meeting with these meringues. And you still haven't explained to us why. <sighs> I know. We need to figure out who kidnapped Solvus and then who cloned him and then how they tricked Sweet into kissing the clone who she thought was Alexander in front of Raph, which caused that discordant vibration stuff. <sighs> <gasps> Unreal. I guess there's more inside that head than just fat. Only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> now that we all understand why we're here, are you willing to help us? Mm. <laughs> of course we are. But where do we begin with the investigation? Right here. Hmm? Huh? Tell us more about your captors. We need to hear every detail of what happened. Hmm. It's about time you got here, Blue. Well, so, what do you think of your new hideout? A little on the, uh, small side? Don't take that mocking tone with us. Hmm. <sighs> Calm down, my old collaborator. These accommodations are what you might call temporary. Soon, all of creation will be our dominion. But how? That's none of your business. As for you, did you follow your orders? I saw the angels and devils. They were having a meeting in the cafeteria. They do realize there's some sort of plot going on. They'll never link it back to us. And it's too late for them to defend themselves against our next attack. Finally, a real fight. Now I'll show Sulphus what I'm made of. Don't get too excited, my child. I never said we would attack with force. We're both far too clever for that. I don't understand. All will be revealed in time. But for now, we'd like you to accommodate Anjali to her final destination. And 
Pen. Hmm? They threatened you at the start of the second year? Yeah, that's right. It was the first time I met them. It was terrible. Who are you? Just what do you think you're gonna do? You know an angel named Ralph. Huh? Now, behold Raph's mother. Huh? You've got Raph's mother? She's our prisoner, Sophus. And if you don't want us to hurt her, you will need to follow every one of our commands to the letter. You monster! Calm down, boy, and listen. Your first order is to ignore Raph completely, as if she were a total stranger. That's why you seemed so distant. That's right. For once, he wasn't your little puppy. Jealous much? Oh. Hmm? Now you understand? But wait, did these same two people order you to write on your laptop that you secretly liked somebody else? What's that? I never did anything like that. But I read it. I could never forget that. Huh? Kabiria thinks I let you walk all over me. What a jerk she is. I can't believe Kabale wrote in her diary that I'm a stupid girl that will never amount to anything in this world. But listen to what that fatso gas wrote about me. Mickey is lazy, apathetic, and on top of that, looks like sour milk. Huh? This laptop belongs to Solfus. Oh, I never would have fallen for Raph if I had met her first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I only <laughs> wish Raph was literally walking all over you. <gasps> and saying sweet won't amount to anything is like saying the sun is just a little yellow. <laughs> but the sun is yellow, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> One more crack like that, and you'll be eating your teeth. Uh, calm down. I need my teeth. Besides, I never wrote that stuff about you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't write anything down either. Same here. Then who did write it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue. It must have been her. But why would she do that? Simple, really. To pit us against each other, of course. But we're already against each other, Kabale. For once, I agree with her. Sure, it's true that we're rivals, but those things that we read, they really hurt us deeply. They led us to doubt ourselves. But even worse, it put that idea in my head and it made me jealous of Raph. It's all water under the bridge now, and anyone who tries to trick us like this again <laughs> will have to pay for it. Hmm. Yeah. You better tell us where we can find this blue woman, if that's her name, or whatever her name is. Blue. She's called Blue. She acts on behalf of those blackmailing monsters. Do you think hmm? they're the ones who tricked Sweet into kissing your clone? I don't know, but it's possible. After all, if she's able to hypnotize me, she may have done the same to Sweet. Don't you remember? I told you I thought I was kissing Alexander. That's right, Sweet. Hmm. It's me, Alexander. Oh. I know that type of potion. What is it? Sweet confused Sulphus's clone for her beloved Alexander. A typical effect from an hallucinatory serum. Please allow me. What? Watch what happens. Huh? Nosferatu? Venom detector. <laughs> no! Enough! Huh? Stop! Hey! What are you doing to our friend? Relax. It's for her own good. <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> or I'll... Ah, I think it found something. Sweet, why don't you brush your hair away from your neck? Huh? Hmm. 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 Those look like bite marks. It's a snake bite. Oh, of course. Now I remember. Now, bite her. Ouch! <sighs> what was that? What do you mean? I swore I felt a little pinch. Hey, don't look at me. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, no? I wouldn't put anything past you. Uh, Alexander? And since then, every time I was looking at Sulphus, fake Sulphus, I saw Alexander. No, it all makes sense. It was a trap for Wrath. That's it. They wanted her to break out into a jealous rage to cause that vibration. But why? What's the point? Do you know what their plan is, Sulphus? Sorry, but... 
Hold on. Your mother, Angeli, she knew it. She was trying to tell me. Now how do I get out of here? Darn it! Sell first. Huh? Who's there? It's me, Angeli, huh? Raph's mother. That's not possible. You're... you're... I have been uh... asleep for hundreds of years, but I'm still huh? alive. And just like my daughter, I have the power to communicate telepathically. Now listen to me. Because this sleep drains my energy, I can't communicate for very much longer. You need to protect Raph, because the continued existence of the universe depends on her. Why is she a threat? What do they want? To use her for the Libra of the Veto. My mom. She... she... was asleep, but you talked? Hmm? And I'm convinced she'll wake up one day. But Angeli made her point. It's a plot against Raph and Selfus to find the Libra of the Veto. So you mean if we find the Libra before anyone, we find the blackmailers? Find the Libra? That's impossible. No, it isn't, Dope. If I remember correctly, there's a map that shows the exact location of the temple. Splendid. And where are we supposed to find this map? Unfortunately, I have no idea. And you call me the dope, huh? An idea. If there's someone who knows everything about geography, that would be Omnia. Let's go ask. And we'll give Gnosis the third degree. Sorry, I can't go. I have a projection lesson. Ditto. <laughs> it's up to us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, devils. It's off to work. <laughs> we'll meet later tonight to compare notes on what we found out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, come on. It's almost dawn. Guess. What are you waiting for? Well, since we're in the cafeteria already, maybe I should wait for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Moment to grow up is there, and so she has to live. 